Hi, everybody. It's Vicki. Something just happened, and I wanted to share it with you. I do a lot of elongated teachings, and I just got this from my pastor. I wanted to make it a short encouragement for you. I just baked up a song today and sent it to him, thought it would encourage him. And he wrote back to me, and he said, Sis, Vicki, I just got this about five minutes to your text. Enjoy, and thank you so much for sharing. The name of this is Yahweh. Now in the Hebrew, they don't have the vowels. So it's Y-H-W-H. -H. And here's what it says. There was a moment when Moses had the nerve to ask God what his name is. God was gracious enough to answer and the name he gave is recorded in the original Hebrew as Y-H-W-H. -H. Over time, we have arbitrarily added an A and an E in there to get Yahweh, presumably because we have a preference for vowels. But scholars and rabbis have noted that the letters YHWH represent breathing sounds or aspirated consonants. When pronounced without intervening vowels, it actually sounds like breathing. YH is the inhale. <gasps> WH is the exhale. <sighs> so a baby's first cry, his first breath speaks the name of God. A deep sigh calls his name or a groan or gasp that is too heavy for mere words. Even an atheist would speak his name unaware that their very breath is giving constant acknowledgement to God. Likewise, a person leaves this earth with their last breath when God's name is no longer filling their lungs. So when I can't utter anything else, is my cry calling out his name? Being alive means I speak his name constantly. So is it heard the loudest when I'm the quietest? In sadness, we breathe heavy sighs. In joy, our lungs fill almost like they will burst. In fear, we hold our breath, and we have to be told to breathe slowly to help us calm down. When we're about to do something hard, we take a deep breath to find our courage. When I think about it, breathing is giving him praise, even in the hardest moments. This is so beautiful, and it fills me with emotion every time I grasp the thought. God chose to give himself a name that we can't help but speak every moment we're alive. All of us, everywhere, waking, sleeping, breathing with the name of God on our lips. Author unknown. I hope this encourages you. God bless you.